Hello buddies and welcome to Monday Night Mordheim. Tonight we will be starting the campaign with our, I think our warband is called Acolytes of the Pit. And uh, we'll be doing the first mission. You get three different missions. I think I get one extra for being a veteran. Yes, I do. And then you can choose between either Hunters and Prey which is a Wordstone Rush, Crush Their Will, Walk and Fork, and Hunters and Prey. Yeah, so this you split up into three strike teams and disperse into the area, and then you have to beat down two of their characters to take their uh, trinkets. In this Wordstone Rush, you need to pick up like 50, 55% of all the wordstone in the uh, area and then you will complete the uh, optional objective we will take because we need wordstone to sell so we will take a walk in the fog each warp band deploys in a wide arc from their wagon far from each other that will give us time to uh, bring everyone in launch mission. You can deploy your guys as well. Uh, I think we'll just do that. Ambush. Oh no, our scouts has failed to detect an enemy warband in the area. On our way the, to the mission site, we've caught, been caught unaware and out of position. We'll need to make the most of the situation. So we got ambushed. This means now, this means that you get a debuff on your team warband, and we'll see how it goes. As you can see, our main objective is to make the warband route or put them all out of action. And then you have the objective, the op optional objective that you can capture these two lucky charms, not trinkets. Uh, if you do that, you get some extra bonus and extra XP. So it's worth it to go for it, but you don't have to. Let's see how this goes. All right. And here's the game. If I haven't seen it before, I'll just go over this quickly. First up, we have our deployment. We can place our guys where these different spots are. Pressing shift and we'll see all of these spots. We can, uh, we can place our warband and the others will be somewhere around here somewhere somewhere in one of these buildings or outside so i want to deploy near our wagon so if i can get to that that would be nice where is it where's our wagon over there that's a lot of uh, deployments hold on a sec so i found it here we go <laughs> That is, um, that's too many. That's, that's, I like the deployment edition, but this is just ridiculous. Mordjax, the goon. The mutant goon, of course. I'll find a spot for him. These deployment rules make no sense. But, okay, place him there. Bam, bam. Here we go. I think I need to write to Rogue Factor about this. Because that is just plain ridiculous. I keep getting them. Look, look at this. And I have to cycle all the way through. I'll be right back. All right. Faust is ready to be deployed. And now we have Niesel. And we'll put Niesel up here where he can just loop that right away. All right. Round one. We'll start by 
picking up this word stone here, these green things. And we'll press V to take all. And now he might get a wordstone word warp effect. And you can see at the bottom there, left, uh, that he got a block block switch weapons. So he can't switch weapons, but it doesn't really matter because he doesn't have any. You can see up top there's the uh, initiative ladder. And you have... We've spotted some of their guys here, I can see. They're fairly spread out. So what I think we'll do is we'll head into 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 this building and just lure them in to our trap. Because we can if we if we go here, we can actually gain quite the advantage. Yes. We'll cast weapons of destruction on Mordiax. There you go, buddy. Have some weapons of destruction. And then we will put him in a dodge stance. Now the enemy will act. Maybe more jacks will be engaged. Nope. He got into an overwatch. That's... That's your archer, dude. Can we... Now we don't want to alert them. Here is our idol you can pray at to gain the buff. Usually it doesn't really matter because it's so far away, but in this case you're actually it can be it can be useful for the all alone test. All right. Um I need to trigger that Overwatch. Ouch! Sorry, Mordiax. Take one for the team. Alright, buddy. I will put him here so that we can get our two other, three other Dark Souls in here as well. And we'll, we'll put Mordiax in an ambush stance so he stops the first one that comes in. Someone switching weapons? Alright. Hello! Empire is so posh. Look at them. <laughs> Feathers and all. Alright. An archer. Another archer. So the archers are fairly easy for, for our Dark Souls to take down. Um, and what I think we want to do is drag that guy in. We can do that by using Bam Bam as bait. So we'll move him. You can see this uh, blue area. This is where I can move freely from using a point, and I can even head on back through the uh, the points I came through to reverse my movement. So if, you, if I didn't want to go that way, I could just go back this way and get re refunded. Now, I also saw that this guy has a skull on his icon. This is due to him being one of the guys with Marked for Death. This is their leader, Alfred von Drack. So we need his, uh, need his lucky charm and one of the arch... No, the men-at-arms here, or what they're called. So we'll draw him in. With the ambush. Triggers there. 15. It's fine. You can take it. Bam, bam. Now, hit him back. Ooh, 46. Look at that. Almost chopped off his arm. Ow! Counter attack. And you will dodge. But now we have the, um, the option to put Faust into uh, action as well. I won't be charging... No, we'll just go there. The good thing about these guys are that they are crazed, so they are immune to all-alone fear and terror tests. 
Dark Souls are incredibly good. Now we have Nysel, he'll just scavenge. You will you will win if you don't run around and take all the wordstone, you will still get some items. You will still get get some wordstone. How much is dependent on the difficulty of the mission you entered. So at this normal level you get thirty five percent I think. And then it increases as the the difficulty increases as well. We'll see to charging maybe? No, we can't get far enough away, so he will just stay there. 61%, I always put this on so I can see what is the calculation that is control of my attack chance, 61, and my damage chance, or damage, wow, uh, output, okay. These will just put him down. Good job. As you can see, top left, you have their morale, and they need to, they have 24 left, and if I get them down to 16, they will need to take a, uh, a test. And I think we want to loot this guy. Boop! There we go. That's the lucky charm. No items. I don't know why he did have a sword. Could have gotten that. And now we will... Who does he have here? Oh, that's the young blood. That's his hero. With a bow. This is awesome. So Shade Warp will go out here and charge this guy. He hits just as hard with this as the uh, Dark Souls. With the axes, that's pretty, pretty amazing. And we can cast a Weapons of Destruction on... Yeah, we'll do it on Neasel. I failed. And got dumbfounded? Affected by stupidity, oh no! Well, that doesn't even, um, that doesn't trigger in melee. I'm lucky that it doesn't. Stupidity will, will make you lose a whole turn if you don't pass a stupidity test. We'll put this guy, we'll put more jacks over here and, oh, no, charge right in the back. Go on, yes! Wow, more gags. More more crits. Thank you very much. That was crazy good. Well done. Gautier Freeman. Oh, you could actually disengage there. Oh, okay. He just spent all his movement and strategy points on nothing awesome we have an an archer incoming but we need to we need to get this guy so all our dark souls will be um oh 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 he didn't make it all our dark souls will be charging this guy now i think he went into an ambush yes but misses and we will just take you down. 50. Look at that damage. That is so incredible. We need some heavy armor on our guys. Come on, Bam Bam. You can you can charge to get extra damage. 50% extra damage, but you you just hit worse. You're worse at hitting. Alright. Um, Faust, you can't really go there, so just scavenge this. Oh yeah, some gold. Thank you. We need that. Definitely need that. All right, so can you? Yes, you can. So as you notice, you don't need movement to charge. You just need three red skulls. 
two. No! Oh! That would have been awesome. Stupidity! Oh no! I, w I was in melee, but failed miserably. Oh, and he put him down. If you fail the all alone test, you will run away or lose at least all your points if you can't run away. Strategy points, etc. So they are at 12, so we will be seeing them routing in a moment. Um, which is pretty bad because I think maybe we won't even get to get to get his no we won't dang it more jacks the goon wants to kill him or take him out yeah and that's it that's how you do it guys <laughs> that was fast chaos is incredible and i got dumbfounded yeah that's how it that's how it goes so now we will see the experience and if we had any injuries at all experience surviving you get one surviving one bam bam survived and faust took one enemy out and niesel most valuable and enemies put up out of action and surviving the mission so now he got three points and he advances in one of one of these and physical so we'll increase his toughness or strength i think that's pretty cool two xp we need five to increase our warband and we got a lot of fragments shards and one cluster so these are the lowest mid and highest value for when we need to send shipments off and an axe and a bow so when we come back we need to pay our warband for a job well done pay and if they if we had any injuries we we would have to pay the treatment as well but we didn't so let's just check out maybe maybe you want to go with an axe instead critical hit chance nah he has he has more jacks loves the sword i think hopefully he does and that would be it for this time let's just take the next day and see what happens Oh, we received a new shipment request from the Shadow Lord. That's the guy who sends us into Mordheim to gather Wordstone. So we have 10 days to complete this uh, request and we need 100 weight. We have 25 so far. The clusters bring you 15, the shards 5 and the fragments 1 each. You can't send fragments you need to send the whole weight and you can send extra and you get paid for that extra also surplus will increase the uh, reputation you have with the shadow lord so this means that when you hit 100 reputation you get to be a loyal agent you gain one additional day to fulfill wordstone requests and you get an and a, a little gift at two you get to be a trusted agent all wordstone requests are now paid at 60 percent of market price and so forth you can also send to the cutthroat then if you want to to just get money it's not recommended though as if you don't complete these shipments the shadow lord will be displeased and he will uh yeah he will do something bad to you and your warband so you need to fulfill these requests if you have any extras send it here or send it here if you feel very confident and then you can get 
discounts on ballistic skill and agility and stuff like that. And Black Pit is also. Uh, you get reduced cost of intelligence skills by 10% and stuff like that. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you later. Cheers and stay cool. Or parry and stuff like that. This is the armor absorption percentage. Uh, this increases with wearing armor. How much you reduce of incoming damage. This is the average damage or estimated. Why don't you go back out and play? Okay. Pretty spooky. I love it. The production value of this game is just incredible.